What is happening to the crypto market? HBAR has been normally stabilizing and now it's slowly going down. But are we going to continue to go down? Are we going to make a reversal? Can we hit some new highs? We're going to check all of this out today. So guys, smash that like button and subscribe for more awesome crypto videos. Let's go and check it out. First thing first, here we are on TradeView. We can see that um, HBAR has been steadily actually going down here for the last couple of days. But the biggest problem is the whole entire market is absolutely red. If, if you go here to crypto bubbles, we can see most of cryptos here are massively going down. But the question is, why is this happening? And it's a simple answer. It's Bitcoin. Yeah, Bitcoin just broke below and we actually hit $93,000 here for Bitcoin. I did talk about this. It is a possibility that if we get rejected a couple of times here that we are probably going to do a correction here for Bitcoin and now we're going to stabilize. A really good thing here for Bitcoin actually is that we the RSI is really low right now. That's a really good sign that we can try to stabilize here and maybe even go up pretty soon. But we're not going to talk about Bitcoin right now. First, we're going to talk about HBAR, what's been happening the last couple of days. First thing first, uh, how much did we decrease ever since we hit this high? So from this high to this low, it's about a 26% decrease. And it's not that good, but it's actually pretty normal. I did tell you guys that mo when we do pump massively like this, because if you remember, H bar did pump uh, pump up to a nice price here. We reached all the way here. Yeah, we did a 3x in just 18 days. Uh, for that to happen, we're gonna need some stabilization. Look at this. Ever since we did that, massive, massive. Uh, the RSI just increased massively and we needed to stabilize and this is where the stabilization did happen where we have a price correction. Now if we go here to the one day chart actually, we see something different at the one day chart. The RSI is still significantly overbought so it would be even better if we can just, just stabilize here to the sideways a little bit and then later on we can see some increase. But I don't believe that's going to happen or maybe it is probably because of Bitcoin. Again, Bitcoin is dominating the market. When Bitcoin dominates the market, if Bitcoin goes down, most of the cryptos are going to go down. But if Bitcoin goes up, it doesn't necessarily mean the cryptos will go up with Bitcoin. And that's the way it works. I'm sad about that, but that's the way it works. But look at this slowly making that reversal wick here. So pretty soon we're going to see what's going to happen. But I do believe that... We're going to bounce off and then start to stabilize again. A lot of pr people want to just make some profits here for Bitcoin and that's what happened. A lot of people who hold Bitcoin for a pretty long time wanted to sell in this period and this is what happened. But still HBAR is all pretty healthy guys. HBAR, when you look at other cryptos, I'm just going to show you. If you're if you're panicked, I'm just going to show you some other coins before we do some analysis here. But I'm going to show you some other coins. Look at SAND. Look at how big the decrease here for, here for sand is. And this all happened just like 24 hours. So, okay, like maybe like two days. But if we do go back to the four hour chart, do you see things a little bit more better? You can't, I can't even load this. Look at the sell off. Look at the massive, just a red flag. Massive sell off here. Most of these cryptos, they go down. I look at 30%. But this all happened just like a day. Now oh, that's scary. Everything happened in just a day. But yeah, most of the cryptos are doing a massive correction and HBAR is not an exception. We did not make that correction. And right now, look at this. This is pretty healthy. We're trying to bounce off of this red line, which is really good. The bad thing is this blue line, we, we are kind of crossing it. But if we can stabilize here and try to continue to go, that's still pretty good. And a really bullish sign again is that we're making higher highs. So this is a high here. This is a high, this is a higher high, and look at this, we got lows, but we got higher lows. So we're making, every single time we have a low, we're making higher lows, something like this. If we continue something like, like this pattern right over here, uh, we could bounce off right now, hit another high, hit a low here, then a high, but every time it's going to be a higher high and a and a higher low that's the thing and we're forming again it looks like we're forming a couple of things here it's like a t like a wedge here and we are trying to continue to go up so let me just delete this for a couple of seconds so something like this where we where we're bouncing off a lot of times so this is the wedge that is forming right over here and again i think we're forming a triangle here at the end we're going to zoom that in pretty soon but yeah again 
not too bad. This is not, not too bad at all. Because when you see something like this, that means again you're gonna bounce off higher. We're gonna have it's gonna we're gonna enter the wave. Or again, we could go to the sideways right now. That is also possible. We just continue here a little bit sideways, not too much action. And then when we enter like the altcoin market, the altcoin bull run, then we're gonna see some massive moves. But because of this bearish move, let's a bearish correction that Bitcoin did. Uh, it's going to take a little bit longer now. We still didn't hit 100k for Bitcoin. And because this, it has prolonged everything. So even the RSI here for Bitcoin, it did reach a lot lower than we were before. So this is actually pretty good. But uh, it would be nice if we, if we could stabilize even more. But we're going to see slowly, like I said, what's going to happen in the next couple of days. Let's go back here to HBAR. Let's do a measurement here. What's going to be the next price target here? So the next price target should be about two cents, like not two cents, 20 cents. We're going here to 0 0.2, so 20 cents here. That's going to be the next target. If we do to go to the top, so like this is the bullish scenario. If we continue to go up, that's going to be a 50% increase if we go up. If we just bounce off of these uh, this wedge that I just showed you, we're probably going to go here to 0 0.18, like 18 to maybe 19 and then bounce off. So just bouncing, going up and down, up and down this funnel. That is a possibility again, but we're going to see what's going to happen. A bearish scenario that could happen is that, of course, we could get rejected right now. But if a Bitcoin makes a really scary move where we do break below and continue to go down, if it, if it goes down here to like 87 or even like 85, 85, 85 is a bearish, bearish scenario, but I think it has a lot of safety there. So 85 is a ultimate bearish scenario i'm seeing that could happen here to bitcoin right now that we hit like 85 and then start to stabilize there that is a possibility but if that does happen that's going to be a massive pullback here and if we pull back all the way to there that's going to be eight percent for bitcoin and that means for the altcoins double that so eight percent that means approximately 20 percent decrease so we're going to see like a 15 to 20 percent decrease here for most of cryptos and if H bar does actually hit those 20% decrease from there to here, that's going to be somewhere around this ballpark where we just stay, start to stabilize from here. Bounce off. Yeah, we're going to probably gonna just bounce off from 0 0.1. Yeah, and then start to stabilize in that area because I think we have a lot of safety. Yeah, we have a lot of safety in that area where we can just bounce off and start to save. That's the bearish scenario, the bearish situation that could happen. I don't believe that we're going to hit bearish right now. I believe that we needed some kind of correction because we did move to the sideways. Uh, some people just wanted to take to make a little bit of profits here. And people just made some profits. But now again, we're going to start to stabilize. And we're going to try to hit new all time, like new highs here, if that's possible. You got to be pretty careful. This is unstable. A lot of things could happen. Maybe that's going to be... If if this is it for this bull run, this is not a good sign for Bitcoin. If we only hit uh, like 99,600, I think a lot of people would be um, it's disappointed. Yeah, a lot of people would be dis disappointment, disappointed. I don't think that's going to happen. I think we are going to hit those 100K. We're probably going to hit even more. But... It looks like it's just going to take a little bit longer than we all thought. I thought we're going to hit Bitcoin. Bitcoin's going to hit 100k pretty soon, like sooner, at least a couple of days ago. But now it looks like it's going to take some time for that to happen. But the more time we have for Bitcoin to hit those 100k, the more time we have actually to check out crypto, check out altcoins, and really uh, invest into your investments. Let's say do your own research. That's the whole point. But again, I'm still not bearish. I'm still pretty bullish. I think we have a lot of chances here. The altcoin season still hasn't been created. And that's why I still believe that we still have a lot of room here for growth for most of the cryptos here. So still in that bullish cross, this orange line still massively in the bullish cross. But that doesn't mean that we're, that we're going to stay in that bullish cross. Because look at here, bullish cross, but pretty soon a bearish cross. And then again, like a bearish cross, and then we go down. But this time, I think, again, we have still have a lot of room for that to happen, for for, for us to actually go up. So we, we needed some kind of correction because we did go up a lot here. 
and normally the corrections if you let's say if you increase 100 percent normally the correction would be 50 to 60 percent so not 50 to 60 the, the normal increase would be then 50 to 60 percent so if we increased by 300 then the normal increase should be like a 200 percent increase so somewhere in this ballpark that's it we should be stabilizing again in this area some that's why i said we should be stabilizing somewhere in this area but again we're gonna see what's gonna happen here to hbar and so many other altcoins in the end guys i'm not a financial advisor if you do want to invest into these coins please do your own research first thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video